Hey, everybody. I'm here with Samuel Short from Vesda, a uh, surf band from uh, Norfolk, Virginia. How are you, Samuel? Doing well. I'm doing well. It's freezing here. I'm currently uh, in college in Vermont right now. Awesome. Um, so tell me about um, why you chose the name Vesda and uh, how you got into surf music. Yeah, so so uh, Zvezda is um, it's Russian for star, um, and I've um, I've always kind of approached surf rock from a more sci-fi perspective. But um, in terms of how I got into it, um, I'm really into heavy metal. Like I'm really into metal. I've got four other projects on Bandcamp, and they're all metal except for this one. Um, Surf rock is how I learned how to play guitar um, because I previously played bass guitar and um, uh, I learned how to play guitar by playing surf rock. Um, it's intense. It's fast, or at least it can be. Um, and it's, um, it's so unique. There's a lot of stuff that was influenced by it, obviously, but there's really nothing that people are doing now that really sounds like it. I mean, like there's, there's, you know, there's been no big surf rock revival in the mainstream music scene. It's all been pretty underground, but I mean, and then I, then I discovered that that scene, you know, never really went away. It just went underground, you know, bands like, yeah. you know, uh, like in the Cosmonauts and like Daikaiju and then going back to the nineties, stuff like um like satan's pilgrims and that kind of stuff you know yeah. so like so like you know I, I i i just think it sounds so cool and i just think that it's such a cool snapshot of what rock was like in the united states before the before the british invasion yeah yeah 61 62 yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so you being in college, how old are you right now? I'm 21. And I've been doing this since I was like 17, 18. So you're a 21 year old into surf music, and which is pretty unusual. Usually the the, the musicians I, I, uh, I interview are, are much older. Uh, do, did you find that you can relate with other people your age when it comes to this music? So, you know, I don't think there's anybody out there that doesn't like surf rock. Like, I really don't. You know what I mean? There are people who know about surf rock and people who have never heard it, you know? Um, uh, like, in fact, it's kind of a mystery as to why it's not more popular than it is. But, like, you know, everybody who I show it to is always like, oh, yeah, this is super cool. I love this, you know? Yeah. So, like, how have I never heard of this stuff before? Right. So like, um, in terms of how I relate, like musically, it's, it's weird. Right. Cause like there really isn't a scene like that of people my age. Right. Um, it is mainly hanging out with like, um, like on like on the internet, basically it's like older guys. Yep. Yep, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things uh, I loved about your release that was that was from 2022, um, yeah, some, something that I would expect many surf fans to do, but I've yet to find one, and you're the first one. Is uh, the cover of Bloodstains? Yeah, right. It's it's a perfect match. So that actually was um i was i was like a track short on the album right and so i went back through my catalog of stuff and um i work with a um prisoner rights group in norfolk and i put together a compilation album of like punk covers from local bands and that was my submission so i was like hey you know this is a great song i i i really like my cover of it and i think it would be fun to put on this album um and so that's how that ended up on there right it was just kind of like a like a um you know i i had this song kind of lying around not really being used you know and so i was like 
this is a great this is a great song to put on here because Agent Orange was such a cool like surf punk type thing. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, the drummer uh, who played with them for a number of years, Dave Klein, is living in L.A. Um, he's actually in the Bomboras now. Um, oh, that's the same same guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I know them. I know them. Yeah, they're great. Um, so tell me what you're gonna do uh, this year uh, in the summer when you're when you're out of school. Are you planning on putting a a, bunch, a couple of guys together and playing out, or are you gonna release some more music? So the plan is to the plan is to um, record some more music. Um, try to find you know a, a performing band if it comes together, you know. But but I'm not super connected with the Norfolk music scene that much because like like. I'm there and then I'm gone and I'm there and then I'm gone. Yeah. Right. So like, it's kind of hard to, to form those connections. And plus, like, I mean, think about it. Um, I was 19 when COVID hit. Right. So like, you know, and I was like, before COVID, I was just starting to break into the Norfolk music scene. And then I turn 18, I'm finally an adult and then everything shut down. I mean, we have like maybe four venues in Norfolk that have like this kind of music. Two of them closed down during COVID. Uh, like yeah. They're just not there anymore. They're just not there anymore. Right. Yeah. So, so the scene is still kind of recovering um, from that, but, but that's definitely something I'm keeping an eye out for. But one of the immediate future plans as in like up next on my list is, um, is reissuing some of my earlier stuff as cassettes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, you do this all yourself, right? You record, write, and and release yourself? Yeah. So the, the you know, I do, yes, I, I do everything. Um, I play all the, the instruments. I write all the music. Um, the drums is a program, but I program them. Um, uh, I do the mixing, mastering, distribution, um, album art, all that stuff. And it's fun to go back because like when you follow my musical career, you can kind of see me making mistakes and growing, right? Like it's like you can kind of watch my musical education in real time. Yeah, nice. Nice. Well, I, I want to tell everybody that's watching uh, you can find Vesta's music uh, in the Bandcamp link in the description. Also some uh, Cool Pie merch and tons of uh, surf music resources. Uh, Samuel, thank you so much for your time. I know school, mm -hmm. is very, school is a very busy time, and I appreciate you taking time out during your day to talk with me. Yeah, don't worry about it, man.